and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. I want to let her this get her name around. in. I, I, I'll, I'll do respect. She got to get her name in there, right? Welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette, and we are back with another. Thank you, episode Arlette, for this entertainment. Pop the Balloon or Find Love. This time around, we have our ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies! Woo! All right, so just to kind of go over how it's gonna go down today, we're gonna bring out some single men, one by one. When they come on out here, if you like him, if he looks good, you like the outfit, haircut, whatever it is, do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything that you're just like, oof. So off the rip, we know that we know that like they be judging off looks, and it's it's very much okay. Everybody knows it's happening, so it's not too much disrespectful. But like some people be getting violated, but it is there is the initial look. For both parties, when they both, when, whether it's the girls getting their first look or when the guy has to decide who he's going to pop, it is based off looks and everybody's aware of that. And then you get into finer details or you don't, you know what I mean? So nothing weird going on there. Lord, this man is not for me. Go ahead and pop that balloon and I'll go over to a few of y'all, see what's going on. Why ended up popping your balloon? Y'all ready? Yeah. Hey, all right, let's go. Let's go ahead and bring out our first single man. Hello, welcome You're a little in. Quiet What's there. your I mean, name? I guess welcome. That's crazy. That's crazy. He ain't even do nothing yet. I feel like some of them be popping it just because they know they're not actually there to find love. And they just be popping their balloon so they can get talked to, get that camera time ASAP. I'm not saying that's her, but it's something to think about. What's, what was that? Malcolm, like Malcolm X. Okay, Malcolm, yeah. how old are you? I'm 32. 32, and what do you do? Um, I'm actually an entrepreneur. I have two businesses of my own. That I own. I have a solutions business. And also on a cleaning service, which I property manage for. Okay, very nice. Yeah. And uh, Malcolm, what okay, you okay. a woman? Um, first thing I would say, first and foremost, you have to be a God-fearing woman. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would also say someone with accountability, someone also that is just genuinely kind. Okay, so, cool. All right. Those, those three things are a starter. Bro, all he said was you have to be genuinely kind. That's what did it for her? He said, he said, accountability and being genuinely kind. And she said, nope, not here. Nah, I'm a dickhead. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we did get a few balloons popped. Let's go over to these ladies, see what's to going on. To me, that screams ready? like, that's defensive. Yeah, I'm interested in that. <laughs> Ma'am, we can that's have like defensive your name, attitude. how old you are. Hi, my name is Fianna. I am 34. Um, and I popped my balloon mainly because of the height. Okay. Um, I do prefer someone a little bit taller just because I wear heels a lot. So that's the only reason. But you're super handsome. Well, trees get chopped down every day. So. Okay. Mm, <laughs> I hear that. Touche. <laughs> it's okay. You're a beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And now, uh, Malcolm, is Faye your type? Uh, she's a beautiful woman. Uh, actually, I do love the nose ring. Um, I'm one for aesthetics, but yeah. And the orange is lo looking good on you, but it's all love, Mom. It's, Thank, it's you. Yeah. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. Hey, respect. Let's go ahead and <laughs> go on down over here. Until it's not. All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. I'm Josette and I'm 29. And Josette, what do you do? She um, popped first ASAP. Makeup artist. All right, and why did you end up popping your balloon for Malcolm? Just height, that's all. I'm just, I just prefer someone who's taller than me, at least with heels, so. He is taller than her. There's a couple cool brothers in the back that's taller than me. I'm sure <laughs> like, so that, it works out for everybody. He is taller than her, or am I tripping? And now, is Josette your type? She's also it's not like crazy, beautiful. but it's like you're wearing heels. I like the aesthetics as well, so like each and every one of you guys are beautiful, so I'm like, no. Okay. You know, it is what it is. Listen, bro, like I get it, heels are a thing that girls wear, but like, you're basing our compatibility based on an outfit that you're going to be wearing sometimes. Everybody likes what they like, you know? Cool. And uh, that, okay. Oh, uh-oh. Let's go back over here. What? What did he say, though? What did he say that made her change her mind? Everybody likes what they like, you know? Okay. Everybody likes what they like. And she said, okay. oh, I'm popping. Uh-oh. Let's go back over here. <laughs> All right, so I get the height one for this one, too. Ain't no. If we can have your name and how old you are. I'm Sierra. I'm 27. And Sierra, what do you do? I'm a behavior therapist and wellness coach. Okay. Okay. And why did you end up popping you your balloon? That? Your skinny jeans. He been wearing them the whole time and you just decided? Again, they're all basing it off an outfit, bro. Like, people evolve. For instance, like, you know, I might be wrapping myself up, but, like, I used to wear ripped jeans and skinny jeans. When I met my girl, but like I don't, I don't even wear them now. Okay. 
What's up with the skinny jeans? I don't like skinny jeans on men. Okay, okay. I mean, honestly, I'm not too fond of them either. They were just bone color, so it's hard to match it. It's a <laughs> ramen noodle vibe, but hey. I like it. Like. I mean, I've gotten that before. You know, I got curls, so yeah. hey. But no, you're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? No. Bro, he had two people pop during this conversation with this girl. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> and now, is Damn. she someone that you would go for? Easily. Like, no, she's a beautiful woman. Like, I, the ramen chip was just a little bit of a joke. But, like, no, <laughs> I mean, it's okay. No, cool. <laughs> okay. Right. They're so all popping in. Here. Okay, all right. If we can have your name and how old you are. Nucci, I'm 25. And Nucci, what do you do? I'm a behavioral health therapist, and I also rap. Oh, okay. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon for Malcolm? Um, you're a very handsome man. I just wish like you would have got the beard a little lined up. Um, that's really it. Everything else, like the height, doesn't bother me. This is my thing. They're all popping for things that were there the minute he walked in. And on top of that, it's all stuff that like it could have been that day. You want him get his beard lined up, bro? The way my beard works, like, listen, let me like. If I got my shit trimmed up and fixed up, in like three days, it could be like a little bit more growing. You want me to pay $40 for my cut and my beard and in three days pay 40 again? That don't even make sense. That's just irresponsible. That's just financially irresponsible. Your outfit, you look fly. I'm trying to figure Braves out what my beard fly. look a little off at, but... I mean, you got a little scruffs. You got a little scruffs. But, well, yeah. no, I mean, that was kind of the intent. Cause it's like, oh, if that's what you like, then, you know, it's no shade. It's no shade at all. It's just not what I prefer. She said little scruffs. It's also like a fade. Yeah. But you're very handsome. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And now, I know you said all the ladies are beautiful. Is there anything in particular that you're feeling about Nucci? Um, I like her honestly, to be honest. Like, she likes what she likes. I like her honestly, so to be honest. With that. So, like, why would I? I mean, she's a beautiful woman. Thank you. Yeah, she has a pretty face, if you're asking her thing about it. <laughs> Damn, I can't like somebody with a pretty face? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Quay, and I'm 31. And Quay, why did you end up, oh, sorry, Quay, what do you do? <laughs> um, I'm a courtroom uh, operations manager. Okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it's just, I like a darker s- complexion. Um, just like taller, darker, and that's really about it. I'm pretty short, but we're kind of almost around. You're the what up, Dex? Almost is. Yeah, I her shirt says, uh, "Bro, I didn't even catch that." Her shirt says, "My ex is my biggest fan." Bro, red flag, red <laughs> flag. Why are you like? <laughs> that's that shit. That's that shit. Like, why are you, why are we playing games about exes? Why do you even care if you're really over them? Like, why is your whole? Why some girls their whole personality is how much they don't care about their ex anymore. But like you care about, you don't care about your ex so much that it was, but it was so much of a part of my life that you have to make it. Like, how are you gonna pick up a date? And did you came to a show about love and it says, in your shirt says my ex is my biggest fan. That's not, that's not gonna attract, you know, that's not gonna attract me personally and you ain't for me then. But I'm just saying all that says is like, I have a toxic problem going on that you're gonna have to deal with when we're together because this person's either still in my life or I'm still caught up on this person so much that I want to put them on my clothing in some form or fashion. He got one balloon. Bro didn't even do nothing but compliment everybody. And he got one balloon and all of it was because of his fit or his beard, bro. All things that could be fixed the next day. And the beard, like, again, like, that shit will grow that much in, like, three days. He said he just got it done Friday. I don't know what day it is there. But I'm just saying. And I'm 31. And Jessica, what do you do? Uh, I work in nonprofit and I also model as well. Okay. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, it was the comment about the ramen noodles. So I know y'all gonna call the pot the kettle black. I have you said. You said but, pot during some ramen. <laughs> I just wanted to let that be known, but it's cool. Right? No, because I mean, stupid. she said that you know she didn't like guys with skinny jeans, but it was like. She ain't really serve you no shade, so it was like you really kind of went. You thought I was going to shade though? I definitely yeah, the ramen noodles. I mean, noodles, this shit look like ramen a little bit too. Like, you know, if you think about it, but it's okay. <laughs> it was like, trying to save. That shade, you I'm trying to save? Like, but understood. It, but that was mm-hmm. it. But I think you're extremely handsome. You guys got swag to you. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I dig it. You don't like? See, I think, I think she had the most valid. Sorry if you hear the chewing. I tried not to do that because I hate listening to shit like that. But I'm hungry, so I just got off work. I think that she had the most valid reason. Although I don't agree with it because he said it was a joke and there it was it's, it's whatever, you know what I mean? 
obviously we're gonna we're, you're in an environment where a bunch of people are hurting each other's feelings, right? So you got to be okay with getting your feelings hurt, but also the chance that somebody might shade you. And the ramen noodle thing, he did. It was like a little jokey shade. He didn't say it angrily, but you know, you, he's been getting cut into. So you know, what I mean, he gets he could he could have a little joking, but. On the other hand, she didn't say her shit disrespectfully about the skinny jeans. So I get why another girl might automatically think he's butthurt and rude now. But it's like, you know, there's great lines of being playful, I guess. Like the jeans, though? Are you? It look good to me. <laughs> <laughs> see? See? But they, they could tell. See, right there. Perfect example. She said that, and he did playful. He did like a playful little shade by looking back at everybody that didn't like the jeans. And everybody knew it was a joke then, but she flagged him for the ramen noodle thing, which was just as playful. I think I thought the ramen thing was kind of funny, but yeah. it was. <laughs> but I chuckled for sure. Uh, you're supposed to hold it then why are you mad? Side, truly. She liked the joke, but didn't like that he made the joke. But she said that she chuckled. Therefore, she's going to push herself out of an opportunity just to support women. She's going to support women and neglect herself of a possible good future. Again, I don't know it, guys, so I can't speak on that completely. But I'm not saying this as a thing, as an analysis towards women, but I'm saying this as an analysis towards people. To be a person and decide, I'm going to put myself in a negative position. Like, I guess, you know, being in a negative position to support other people, that's one thing. But the way that her literal exact logic doesn't really make sense because she said she chuckled at the joke. She just didn't like that he made it because he made it towards a female or a woman, a girl. You know what I mean? She didn't like that he made it towards because she's a girl's girl. That's all she said. She didn't find it mean. I mean, she said that it was kind of shady, but she thought it was funny. Like, so what are you exactly standing on? I don't know. You are? I'm Kayla. I'm 31. And Kayla, what do you do? I work in the banking industry. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I think you're very handsome. I feel like we would be like really. She good seems friends. sweet. Yeah, that's cool too. Yeah. We can. You work in the, at the bank. <laughs> like we can. Yeah. Yo. We can be good friends. I'm a yeah. business owner. Yeah, okay. Can, that's yeah. cool. That's, okay. That's cool, man. And now you said he's handsome. So what made you say you can only be friends with him? Um, I guess it's just like a feeling I have. Damn. Yeah. Okay, so that's just straight up typage. That's just straight up typage. We might, we can talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like, okay. Yeah, I feel like she just ain't meant for this type of, type of show. She's somebody who wants to take, who would need to take it slower. But you know, everybody tries out different things at different times. But it seems like she's just talking straight up off of typage, just off of just general energy, without it being called energy. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now is Kayla your type? Oh, yeah, she's pretty beautiful as well. Like, you know, I love the crosses, obviously. I love the crosses, obviously. Jack is fitting for the fit. Like, yeah, no, she's cool. She's like a beautiful woman. Thank you. She seems cool. It's funny because, like, every single time he gets asked if one of these women are his type, he just talks about, he's like, he's like, oh, well, she's a beautiful woman. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's just funny to me. Fran is crazy, but it's, it's all good. Like, Okay, let's go right on over here if we can have your name and help. But nobody wants to admit that they I'm would Taylor, when somebody else wouldn't. And Taylor, what do you do? I'm a business owner. Okay, yes. nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, first off, I think you're very handsome as well. Uh, the outfit's creamy. Everybody's so kind, really I guess. Um, yeah, get the money, dollar dollar bills, <laughs> y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you said you're 5'10". I don't think you're 5'10". Are you six foot? No. Oh, well. No, baby. Okay. I'm five seven, but maybe I mean, five nine. I mean, with the heels off, I'm okay. Five nine. I'm. He said he's five ten. She says she's five seven. Again, I'm looking at her screen, so I can't tell. Ain't no goddamn way. She's 5'7". Was she doing 5'7 without the heels? I'm 5'10", I think. I think I'm like closer to 5'11". I'm pretty positive. Again, you know, cameras, so it's hard to tell who's short. Ain't no goddamn way. I feel like average women are about 5'7". My girlfriend's short. I think she's like 5'5". So I think most women are like 5'7", 5'8", maybe. I'm 5'10", 5'11". I don't think I'm, a, I'm like average height or a little bit above. 
considering what some people are six foot. I'm like right down there. I'm not close to six foot, so I think I'm like five ten. So if most of these women there are probably like five seven, five eight, and she's like three inches taller than all of them, and I'm accounting for the hat being off, right? You could tell people's head head shape kind of. She looks like she might have dreads behind there, or long hair. Oh no, there's definitely two dreads. Ain't no goddamn way she's five seven, bro, in them heels. She said, you're not 5'10 because I'm 5'7 and I'm wearing heels, but they make me 5'10 and we're the same height. I don't know. I like the Cam Newton hat. Oh, so. Cam, oh you got to do me like that? <laughs> what you mean? Hold it can't up. be like Alicia Keys, like Eric No, Biden? that's my baby, so I can't just. Don't oh, have, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah see, I'm glad I popped the balloon. <laughs> he is kind of flaming, though. He is kind of flaming, but it's like, it's also like, I've given him the benefit of the doubt. That is a Cam Newton ass hat. It don't mean that it's a, something Cam Newton would wear because he was heavy in this fashion stage. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you did. And now, is she your type? <laughs> no, I feel like she has a good precedent about her. She, like, she seems like a logical woman. Like, okay. most, any woman that's. I think like he's that, presence, like, but. You know. Gotta agree to this here. Okay. Mm. All right, cool. So now. <laughs> I guess. I don't, oh, is it, you're waiting for a definite answer. I would no. Okay. Oh, does it Cam Newton hat? What is it? No one has a sense of humor. That's uh, like, thank you. All right. If we can have your name and how old you are. You got five. My name is Shannon Marie, and I'm 30. I'm 29. I'll be 30 soon. Okay. Yeah. And what do you do? I'm a hairstylist. Stylist. All right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? I didn't like that petty comment. It, that was not cute. You could have said Erica Badu. You could have said anybody else, yeah, but Cam Newton. Like, said, bro, like, come on. Who's more? Who's more relevant right now? In the past, in the past years, about fashion of, of or just different clothing. Erica fucking Badu, Alicia fucking Keys, or Cam Newton. Cool. Alicia Keys just did the Super Bowl, I think. But she hasn't been in media right now for like crazy fashion sense. And if it was, it's because of like a recent thing at the Super Bowl. If anybody's talking about, I'm not saying these people aren't relevant, but I'm saying as far as like fashion icons at the top of a guy's head, you're going to be thinking about Dennis Rodman, Cam Newton, and I don't watch football anymore, but like I even know that. You want him to think about Erica Badu and Elite. It's not, it's not a slight on the fact that it's more so about the, like it's more so just the fact that it's like a hat that somebody that's into fashion would wear. It's not that the hat's good or bad. It's just like you're going the extra step. They said Erica Badu. Locks, like his locks are not the best. So like I'm not looking at that grown man's locks. Like I'm a that. big fan of his though. I'm saying though, but he has exquisite Exactly, and that's why it's on his mind, but they're all taking offense. Some people do not put two and one and two and two and two and three and four together. But you like, compared it, it to a, a male, you could have said a female. Just because it's a man that wears Cause a man's the one that made the statement. It's a nice yeah, hat. And, his, and he he look a little shabby sometimes. And she looks beautiful. I never denounced her. She was. Okay. I, I don't you know, but I'm just saying you compared her to somebody that's kind of shabby. I didn't like that. No, I compared that was to, a little petty. I compared her to the multimillionaire football player who was the top of the talk for years. Is a bad compliment. Man, so those issues. Yeah, it was a little petty. Okay. It was a little petty. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so just walk out the comment, room, brother. It's um, done. What's yeah, is brother. he your type? Um, no I like the way he dresses. <laughs> And is it not no really more? Cool, <laughs> bro, it's kind of funny. Display that pettiness. That's just not my Bro, it's kind of funny. My apologies. Yeah. It wasn't. <laughs> All right. And now, is she your type? Oh, well, she was. And oh. <laughs> well, I'm saying, you asked me. Uh, uh, no, a grammatical question. Like, no, she was. And okay. she definitely would have been. And, like, but it was just. All, you know, all fairness. I, I was just playing. <laughs> Bro, go walk out and say something. Yeah, he is. <laughs> no, if I disrespect <laughs> you, I do apologize, but it wasn't nothing like. No, I mean, like, I'm from the South, so Cam Newton actually wears pretty fire hats. So, nonetheless, like, I thought, you know, but as a man in comparison to a woman, I guess I get you. I hope you don't watch Medea movies. So, so, uh, <laughs> but, uh, it's okay. Let's right. move back over here. Yes. 
All right. I hope so, you don't watch Medea movies. movies. Bro always got something to say. He's funny as hell, though. He's kind of funny. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> he we were funny. not able to find you in match day, but hopefully next time. Thank you so much for coming oh, on. Thank you. <laughs> all right. They, oh, thank, thank you. you. Have the mic. Let's give it up for him, ladies. <laughs>